channel democracy. And it is a lesson for political parties, particularly the PDP, to learn that if you violate your constitution, you violate the electoral guidelines you have made, you refuse to listen to the wishes and aspirations of the members, there is a consequence. And that is what has transpired today. The court has held that because the PDP, which is a self government business, has refused to comply by its own electoral guidelines, section 50, by the six of its own constitution and the provisions of section 8 and the default electoral act, its ad hoc delegate congress of 4th and 5th February 2024. The court just declared it as a reality for the exclusion of 378 ad hoc delegates who were duly elected and who have been so accredited by the party, but were excluded. The implication of this is that PDP has no candidates because those delegates that were supposed to elect that delegate were excluded from participating in the party cabinets. For us, it's a victory for the rule of law and for stand the judiciary because judiciary meant the last vote of the common man. The judiciary has said these 378 delegates that have been excluded were unlawfully excluded. So for us, it is victory and there's need for those people to know that as a start, PDP has no candidates and it's a lesson for the party and other political parties to always comply with them because there's no alternative to them. There is a former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Atanda Williams CGA, that said, in a situation where the rule of law is jettisoned, anarchy becomes so beneficial. So God forbid that we live in the state of lawlessness, we don't pray for that to happen. Thank you. Your name again, just like that.